Have you ever heard of something called self-care? It's an important skill that every kid and grown-up can develop, and it's all about taking care of you. Whether you're having an awesome day or a tough one, whether you're bursting with energy or feeling a bit down, self-care is always important. What is self-care? Self-care means taking care of yourself, your body, your mind, and your feelings. It's like giving yourself a big warm hug, but it's more than just that. Self-care is about doing things that make you feel good, healthy, and happy. It's like being your own best friend and looking after yourself every day, not just when you're feeling down. Self-care can be fun activities, healthy habits, or even quiet moments just for you. It's all about keeping yourself feeling great. Now, let's learn how to practice self-care in three easy steps. Number one, recognize when you need self-care. Number two, choose self-care activities that work for you. And number three, make self-care a regular habit. Let's break these down. Step one, recognize when you need self-care. Here's something really important to remember. Self-care isn't just for when you're feeling bad or stressed out. It's something you should do every day to keep yourself feeling good and prevent stress from building up. It's like brushing your teeth. You do it regularly to keep your teeth healthy, not just when you have a toothache. That being said, there are times when you might need extra self-care. Here are some signs to watch out for. You feel cranky or upset over small things. Your body feels tired or achy. You have trouble focusing or remembering things. You don't feel like doing things you usually enjoy. It's like your body and mind are sending you a little message saying, Hey, I need some extra care. What are some signs in your life that tell you when you need extra self-care? Step 2. Choose self-care activities that work for you. Self-care isn't one-size-fits-all. What makes one person feel better might not work for someone else. That's why it's important to find activities that make you feel good. Let's look at four types of self-care activities. Number one, body care. These are things that make your body feel good and healthy. This might include getting enough sleep, eating healthy snacks, drinking plenty of water, exercising or playing sports. Number two, mind care. These activities help your brain relax and feel calm. This might include reading a fun book, doing a puzzle, drawing or coloring, taking deep breaths. Number three, Feeling care. These help you manage your emotions and feel happier. This might include talking to a friend or family member, writing in a journal, listening to music, cuddling with a pet or stuffed animal. Number four, fun care. These are activities that bring you joy and help you recharge. This might include playing your favorite game, watching a funny video, dancing to your favorite song, spending time in nature. Keep in mind, what works for you might be different from what works for your friends or family. Step 3. Make self-care a regular habit. The secret to great self-care is doing it regularly, not just when you're feeling stressed. So it's important that you make it a regular habit. Here are some ways to make self-care a habit. Number 1. Set aside a little time each day for self-care. Even 10 minutes can make a big difference. Number 2. Create a self-care menu. Write down all of your favorite self-care activities and keep the list where you can see it. Number three, try different activities. If one doesn't work, don't give up. Move on to another until you find what helps you feel better. Number four, ask for help. If you're having trouble with self-care, talk to a grown-up you trust. They can help you come up with ideas and make a plan. It's important to know that taking care of yourself isn't selfish. It's necessary. When you take good care of yourself, you have more energy to do the things you love and help others too. Now that you know all about self-care, your next step is to create your very own self-care plan. Think about the activities we've talked about that make you feel good, calm, or happy. Write these things down or draw pictures and then decide when you'll do them. Your self-care plan is like a special toolbox filled with all your favorite ways to take care of yourself. And the best part? You can change it anytime you want. As you grow and try new things, your self-care plan can grow with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. For more social, emotional, and mental health resources for kids and teens, please visit www.mentalhealthcenterkids.com. Thanks for watching!